alaikum everyone today we will talk about uh, bbs the bar bending schedule okay bar bending schedule is very important in civil engineering as we use steel reinforcement in concrete because steel is the part in concrete which takes the tension so the tension load is provided in concrete it is taken by the steel okay so we should know the <coughs> schedule the bar bending schedule the proper schedule of bars okay bar bending schedule is very important the main motto of bar bending schedule is to reduce the wastage on site okay generally we have 12 meter bar what we did on site we just cut the steel on the base of drying which gives us uneconomical uh, uneconomical sizes then there will be the wastage so to reduce the wastage what we have we have the bar bending schedule so that we reduce our wastage on site it is the it is a main motto of bar bending schedule here we will know about the bar bending schedule of footing uh, that is the first part okay because we start every construction from footing so we use steel in the footing so how to calculate the bar bending schedule for footing okay now let's do it so we have uh, bar bending bar bending schedule for footing so we can footing mesh or we can say jali in hindi we can say jali okay so we use footing mesh or jali uh, the reinforcement in footing generally we have footing in uh, we have reinforcement in footing in this manner okay here we have the this is called a main bar and this is called a distribution bar okay these these bars are if you see it in, in the vertical manner these are like the, in this manner in this manner okay these bars are these distribution bars are on the main bars first we place the main bars and on the main bars we place the distribution bars if i have here if i have a footing here if i have a footing of size 2 meter into 1 meter okay 2 meter into 1 meter okay this is my this this is my this is my main bar then we i have distribution bar suppose i i, I give the example for one footing this is 2 meter and this is 1 meter okay now first i will tell you about the cover so if this is my bar okay if this is my bar from the end of bar to the face of my concrete this is called a cover cover i have on the both sides so this cover and this cover generally or normally we take cover for footing 50 mm 50 mm on both sides that's 50 mm on this side and 50 mm on this side so the total cover will be 100 okay 50 plus 50 so first we will find the total length of this bar and the total length of then this bar okay here we will find the total length I will here make a diagram uh, I mean my bar will be it will be like this okay I'll tell you one thing here if this is my 2 meter okay if this is if this is 2 meter this is my 2 meter bar okay first what I will do 2 meter is the total 2 meter is the total length okay first i will subtract the cover so it becomes 2 meter i mean 2000 mm minus cover cover from both sides that is 50 from one side and 50 from other side from 50 this side and 50 from this side so then what i will do simply what i will do for my bar in footing we have the l like this l from both sides so 
for single l we know for single l we subtract 2d okay from uh, for single l we subtract 2d for 2l we subtract 4d okay this is uh, this is the general case for every bar uh, for every mesh okay so i have 2000 length minus cover from one side and then from the other side okay then what i will do now how to find the high, uh, length of this l okay this is the very important thing here i will tell you how to find if this is my footing if the depth of footing is 200 mm okay you got me so what i will do i have cover on both sides I will subtract the cover on both sides that is from one side 50 mm and the from other side 50 mm that's from top and bottom so I got 100 that is 200 minus 50 minus 50 so I got 100 this is the general rule for everyone so my L for this length I mean this length will be 100 okay 100 from this side okay you got me now I will tell you here so here is my one mesh so the uh, so this L will be I mean hundred and this will be hundred and this length will be uh, I mean that it was total was two two thousand mm minus cover on both sides it becomes cover is uh, from both sides it's hundred minus hundred 50 minus 50 so 2000 minus 100 will be 1900 1900 will be the length 1900 okay this will be my length so this will be my length what so I have to find the now I will add all these lengths so here it will be 900 900 mm plus 100 plus 100 then subtract to the L so remember this thing for single L we subtract 2D for 2L we subtract 4D so for this I will subtract 2 into 2 into D okay what I will get 900 plus 200 900 uh, 2100 2100 minus 2 into 2 into uh, two twos are four into D. The diameter of uh, this bar. Let's take a, let's take the diameter of this bar is ten. Okay, so this will be two one zero zero minus four tens are forty. Then I will I have two one zero zero minus forty. It becomes two zero six zero mm for one bar and. We will find the length for another bar. I mean, here we find this length. Okay, the, our my mesh will be like this. I find this length for one bar. The length is two zero six zero. Now I will find this length for this bar. I mean the distribution bar. This length we know it is one meter. So it is one meter. One meter minus cover from both sides. That is fifty plus fifty. 50 plus 50 that is 1000 cover from both sides 100 it will be 900 so 900 will be the length this length okay but I have L for also for this so L will be the depth uh, the depth of footing is 200 and the cover the depth of footing is 200 minus cover from the both sides it is 50 plus 50 that will be 100 200 minus 100 will be 100 so the l will be 100 this l will be 100 so add these three things 900 plus 100 plus 100 minus this l okay i mean this band this minus this one one l and this second l for one uh, one band we subtract 2d and for this we subtract 2d so this is 4d minus 4d for distribution bar the die is 8 okay let's take it 8 900 
plus 100 plus 100 200 minus 4 into 8 so it becomes 9 11 10 11 11 hundred minus uh, it for the 32 this becomes 1132 mm will be my the second length for the second bar okay so this will be my cutting length that is 1132 mm okay for for uh, main bar i have the cutting length is 2060 mm and for distribution bar a uh, cutting length is 1130 mm now let us go for the bbs uh, I mean the BB, BBS uh, chart okay w remember this thing first we go for length we have a length then breadth then we have a dia then we have a number of unit then uh, we have simply the number of bars then we have the cutting length cutting length then we have the weight per meter then we have the total weight total weight okay so the length of this bar is the total length is 2 meter and the breadth is 1 meter there this is the length okay total length so here I will make the diagram so if I talk about the first I talk about the main bar then the distribution bar main bar then distribution bar because these are they have different dias for main bar the dia is 10 mm and for distribution bar the dia is 8 mm number of units let's take one footing one number of <coughs> units or i mean the number of footings one and one number of bars so this is panning and this is also panning we will find it now here we have cutting length cutting length for main bar is 2.060 meters and for distribution bar the cutting length is 113 I mean 1.130 meters weight per meter for 8 mm bar we know d square by 162 that is d, uh, I mean uh, we have here d square by 162 for weight per meter the formula you all know I uh, I, I have already told you this formula I only given this formula this d square by 162 d is the dia here we have the 8 8 into 8 divided by 162 we have here 0 0.395 and for I mean for for 8 mm 0 0.395 and for 10 mm we have 10 10 into 10 divided by 162 that is 0 0.617 that is 0 0.6 so guys this is a very interesting thing how to find the number of bars actually this is our isolated fitting for number of bars this is the per man bar this is for distribution bar so how to find for, for main bar how to find for distribution bar okay for main bar we know we have footing like this from we have 2 meter and from this we have 1 meter okay so how to find the number of bars for main bar so the number of bars in main bar we will find this these number of bars from if we go through the drawing i mean go through this drawing this is two meter and this is one meter this is my main bar and this is very interesting this is my distribution bar so th this length is for main bar remember this thing this length is for main bar but the number of bars from this length will be for distribution bar this is very important thing so i mean if you have to find the number of bars you will have to if we have to find the number of bars for main bar i mean for main bar you have to calculate the length for distribution bar it is reverse main bar you have to go through distribution length for distribution length you have to go through main bar main length okay so this is my main length main length is 2 meter 2 meter minus cover from both sides 50 minus 50 that's 100 okay I got 900 spacing uh, I take the spacing 100 from center to center okay the spacing is 100 divided by spacing that is 100 so I got 19 bars okay from this side I got 19 bars okay I got 19 bars but 
these bars will not include in the main bar because from this side I have distribution bar so these bars will include in the distribution bars this is very important and necessary thing for main bars what I will do I will take the distribution length the distribution length is 1 meter 1 meter minus cover from both sides that is 50 minus 50 that's 100 so I got 900 divided by spacing divided by simply spacing is 100 so I got 9 bars so 9 bars will be my the main bars okay so lastly we have to find the total weight for total weight it is very simple just multiply these all things I mean weight per meter 0.6 one seven point six one seven into two point zero six zero here into nine number of bars into nine into number of units into one is equal to eleven point four eleven point four three nine will be the total length for main bars and for distribution bars the total length will be point three nine point three nine nine five point three nine five into 1.130 into 1.130 into 1 point into 19 bars into 19 bars into 1 that is equal to 8.48 meters okay this is in meters so guys this was all about how to find the bar bending schedule for uh, footing mesh okay this is the total steel we need for man bar and the total steed we need for distribution bar okay thank you